Hello everyone, welcome back to Gigi Hub LK. Today I am going to show you how to update Windows 11 on my Windows 10 computer. Now you can see the screen records taken after updating Windows 11. Here are my computer specs. I have an i5 3rd gen processor and the RAM is 16 GB. Currently I am on Windows 11 Pro 23 H2 version and this computer does not support TPM 2.0. Let's see how I update Windows 11 on my low spec computer. Head over to the official Microsoft website or trusted sources to download the Windows 11 ISO file. Remember, always download from legitimate sources to avoid any potential risk. Now I am on Microsoft official website. There is a link in the description. Go there and download the ISO file as shown in the video. This ISO file is around 6.3 GB. We will need Groovers, a tool that helps create bootable USB drives. Visit the Groovers website or trusted repositories to download the tool. Ensure you download the latest version for compatibility and security reason. If you have valuable data that you need, please make sure to backup them from the pen drive and the partition where Windows 11 is waiting to be installed. Insert your USB drive into your computer. Open Rufus and select your USB drive from the device list. Then click on select Choose the Windows 11 ISO file you download earlier. Then select the standard Windows 11 installation under the image option. Make sure to select the correct partition scheme under the partition scheme. How to identify the correct partition scheme? First, go to this PC, then click here, go to manage. Then go to disk management. Now you can see the hard drives connected to your computer. This is the hard drive on which Windows 10 is currently installed on my computer. Right click on that hard drive, go to properties and go to volume. See what type of partition scheme you have under partition style. This is GPT. Let's see if my other hard drive is also GPT. You can see that my other hard drive is MBLR. I'm going to install Windows 11 the same version where my old Windows 10 was. Therefore, I select GPT as the partition scheme. You can give a name of your choice under the volume label. For the file system, choose NTFS. Leave the cluster size as the default. Finally, ensure the create a bootable disk using option is selected and click start. Now you will see a new tab open called user experience. I click all and give ok. And ok. Wait until this green bar goes to 100%. When this process is done correctly, ready appears in the green bar. Please start your computer and enter the BIOS setup by pressing the designation key of an Dell or F2 during startup. Navigate to the boot setting. 
connected the USB drive as the primary boot device. Save changes and exit the BIOS setting. Your computer will restart and boot from the USB drive. Follow the on-screen instruction to begin the Windows 11 installation process. Click Next. Click Install Now. Select I don't have product key. Then select the operating system you want to install. I choose Windows 11 Pro and click Next. Tick this box and Next. Select custom install Windows only. Make sure to select the correct partition. If you select the wrong partition, the data there will be completely erased. I choose the same partition that had Windows 10 before. There was no name it. I select that partition and press the next button. Now wait a bit until this goes to 100%. point remove your pen drive from the computer now the windows 11 setup process will start if windows 11 is not loaded on your computer go to boot setting and select the correct hard drive as the primary boot device now select from here i don't have internet do not connect to the internet at this time even if you have internet connection because that would be a big problem. I will show you that later. Select continue with limited setup. Wait again for a while. Congratulations. Welcome to Windows 11. Now you need to update the drivers and update Windows to ensure everything runs smoothly. But a question will arise. See when I connect the internet to the Windows 11, blue screen will come. What to do now? One thing I notice is that when we give an internet connection through the cable, that is when we give it through the RJ45 cable, this blue screen comes. Because of this, we have to get an internet connection in another way, like mobile hotspot, USB, tethering. But don't worry, there is a solution for this. But the next question that come to me in this. What is the current password? I try many but the password itself is nothing. That means now the password is empty. Therefore, I leave the password blank and enter a new password in the new password field. Then you can log in to Windows 11. Then I connected to the internet another way and update Windows. After that, Windows 11 everything worked smoothly. How to fix the blue screen when I connect to the internet through the RJ45 cable? For that, go to the link in the description Download the relevant LAN drive as the per video and install it as usual. Now you can connect to the internet through the RJ45 cable. You successfully upgrade to Windows 11 without TPM using an i5 third gen processor, 16 GB RAM and GTX 770 with the help of Rufus. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.